Welcome back to DIY Makes Sense. My name is Regina and I recently replaced a bunch of my mini blinds in my house. I'm going to walk y'all through the entire process and I'm also going to show y'all exactly how much they are in the store. They expensive. And if y'all follow my channel, y'all know I'm not paying nothing full price. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. But I'm going to show y'all some tips on where I find mine for the cheap. We gonna get straight into this video, so let's get started. Here are my current blinds. They all right, but I'm ready to upgrade and they gotta go. Besides, I found brand new blinds, really cheap, so it's time. So here are my brand new two inch white faux wood blinds. The woman I got these from said her windows were not deep enough to fit the two inch. She had three blinds she had to get rid of and I gladly took them off her hands. Later in the video, I'm gonna show you exactly how much I paid for the blinds. Hold on to your seats. Look at these blinds, they are so pretty. You know what? As we age, the things that excite us. <laughs> My God. All right, let's get into this hardware. Now there's a whole lot of hardware in this box, but I will not be using it all. I'm gonna be mounting these blinds within the window frame, so I won't need everything. But what I will need are the mounting brackets, the end caps, and some of the screws. Now these blinds came with a valance, which I will not be using, and also a wand. So to take down this particular blind, all I need is a flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna put it in this little notch, gently push down and the blind will pop out of place. I did the left side already, time to do this one. At this point, all I have to do is remove the old hardware and prep this window for the new blinds. So for the mounting brackets, I'm gonna put one on either end of the window, one somewhere in the middle, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Here I am marking the screw holes so I can drill my pilot holes. Here I'm drilling my pilot holes and I'm using a bit that's a little bit thinner than the screw because when it comes time for me to screw that screw in, it still has something to hold on to. Now let's get these mountain brackets up. Now I've installed several of these faux wood blinds and I'm never really worried about, is the stud there? Will I have a stud to drill into? I know the stud is there. That's how the window itself is secured. With all the mounting brackets installed, here's what they look like. Now before I install these blinds, I gotta pop on these end caps first. Now when mounting these blinds, there's a groove at the very front of the blind that the mounting bracket fits into. Once that bracket is nestled in that groove, you simply push the back of the blind up into the mount and you'll hear it snap into place. If your blinds aren't centered when you install them, don't worry, get you a little flat head, push it in that groove and just slide them over. Now with these particular blinds, all I have to do is simply pull them all the way down to the windowsill, and that's pretty much it. All that's left to do is to pop in the wand. I did both of the end caps at the bottom of the blind off camera, and I have another project checked off my list. So now let's break down the cost. I ended up getting three blinds and at retail that would cost about 190 bucks. I found these blinds on the Facebook marketplace and I ended up purchasing two at $15 a piece. But the woman selling them forgot she had a third and ended up throwing that in for free. In the end, I saved over $150. I had been searching for these faux wood blinds that fit my window for a few weeks. I was okay, you know, with keeping my mini blinds for a while because I knew I would replace them. My patience paid off. I found exactly what I was looking for and I got it for a great price. I kept all that money I saved in my pockets and right where it belongs. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, like this video and consider subscribing because if y'all follow the channel, you already know I'm trying to keep as much money in your pockets as possible. We trying to save money over here and we could do it and still make our house look beautiful. Thank y'all again for watching. I appreciate every one of you guys. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.